Hello friends, welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Yes, it's a speed build, sort of. I mean, technically speaking, it is a speed build. You do get to see two of the spaces decorated in this video. Okay, so here's the story behind this house. Initially, I wanted to build a family house. I wanted to build something different from all the things I've been building lately. Preferably something two stories, blah, blah, blah. I found this house and I'm like, you know, a lot of people have been making like makeshift apartments in The Sims 4 lately. Maybe I want to do that instead. And I'm like, I could convert this old farmhouse into, like, maybe a three or four, uh, like, tiny apartments and have, like, roomies in here or whatever. You know, if is it the university pack? I think it's the university pack. You can... Um, have roommates come live with you you can like put an ad in the paper or whatever and have other sims come live with you and they actually pay rent to you so if your sim can afford it which i don't remember how much this house is but it's a massively expensive i think um but uh, if your sim can afford it, they can move in here, take whichever apartment they like, and get three other roommates, and they can all have their own, like, rooms, if you will. You just lock the door to everybody but that roommate, and only they can enter in. And each apartment has its own bathroom and its own kitchen. So, you know, you'll see in the second part. But the problem was, this place is so massive that it took me a long time to do it all so I have to break the video into at least two parts I'm hoping I can get the rest of it into one part but I, I I can't be sure I might have to do three parts hopefully not but I might have to but it's worth it in the end because it's a really cool house with really cool little apartments. Like, I went all out on this one. Uh, the main areas, there are three main, well, technically four main areas. There's the two hallways, the one downstairs, which is kind of like an entryway, and then the hallway upstairs. And then the big room in the front is like a gathering space I don't know I just I didn't want to have one person have one massive apartment and everybody else have teeny tiny apartments like bedroom size apartments so I left that living room that original plan living room as a uh, what would you call it like gathering space like community space like a living room kind of I guess I don't know but there's no tv or anything just a couple of couches you'll see in a minute here but uh and then I was able to still create four apartments of varying sizes the two downstairs apartments are pretty good size but the two upstairs apartments if you will are really really small it took some work figuring out those rooms and I had to keep it kind of more to the minimalist side upstairs because everything I wanted to add got in the way of a door or an appliance or a bed. It was just kind of really annoying. But it turned out really awesome. Like, this is not... I mean, I might use this build sometimes. It's not my most favorite build ever. I still like the little uh, 50s ranch prefab style homes with one or two bedrooms. Those are still my favorites. But this... I'm proud of this because I actually did really good on this one. And I know that's kind of pathetic to say, but like I put a lot of work into this one. <laughs> so I hope you like it. Speaking of which, 
If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. All support is appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. If I'm going to do a little tiny animation on the screen that will just kind of pop up whenever, wherever, or if I'm going to do like an advertisement of some kind, I think that would be annoying though. I've been watching a few channels that essentially do a little like 10 second advertisement in the like first 30 seconds of their video and I've been finding myself fast forwarding through those so obviously I find them kind of annoying which means I kind of don't want to put other people through them which means I'm probably not gonna go that route I'm leaning mostly towards a small advertisement on screen um, okay, so to be honest with you, my phone had a notification and I cut the video off right before I said, and I've been fast forwarding through that and restarted the recording. But the first time I restarted the recording, apparently I was talking, but it was not recording. So now I'm doing it a second time. So now I have no idea what I said and what I haven't said yet. So if I repeat something, this wouldn't be the first time it's happened in other videos. I try to fix it usually afterwards, but today I'm not going to have the time to fix it. So if I repeat stuff, just pretend you didn't hear it, okay? Or just shut the sound off and just watch the speed build. Don't even listen to me speak. It's totally fine. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Oh, it's been one of those days, let me tell ya. So, a little bit about this house in case I haven't already said it. Massive old farmhouse type of thing. Comes from a house plan. The outside, with the exception of the back patio, obviously because I cut it in two for the two downstairs apartments. Um, everything inside is fairly close to the original floor plan of the original house with the exception of the bedroom downstairs on the right has an extra wall to make like a kitchen slash bathroom area which you'll see in the next video um but uh the communal areas or common areas are a laundry room right there next to the to the steps an entryway right there at the front door, obviously, and then the living room right there where the steps are at, that's a communal, like, living room area, um, and I tried to keep those all decorated in the same sort of way, I guess, uh, and the apartment right on the right of your screen, in my head, I was envisioning that as the owner's apartment. And so I kind of tried to keep that in sort of that same aesthetic, I guess is what you call it. Uh, the same color scheme, the same feel. So yeah, aesthetic is what I call it. Um, but the rest of the other three apartments all have their own very unique color schemes. You'll have to forgive me. I think I've had a cold for the last week because my nose is very snuffly and it makes me talk even funnier than normal. And every time I try to talk, it's like air tries to push through my sinuses but can't. And then there's all this little popping going on inside of my head it's really weird so I think I have a little bit of a cold nothing major but you know enough to be annoying when I'm talking a lot and it's making me kind of breathless because I have to breathe through my mouth because I can't breathe through my nose so it's making me kind of breathless too but anyways uh my fear though <laughs> is that the other three apartments don't have their own aesthetic. And I've just gotten so good at decorating in one aesthetic that all of my builds are starting to look the same and I haven't realized it yet. 
I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. But that's like my worst fear is that all of my builds are just, I guess in some way that's good because it's unique to me. It, it's easily identifiable than whatever. But in other ways, I don't know. I think it would get boring after a while. So I try to switch it up as much as I can. I don't know. Again, let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, one last thing before I get going. I will not be able to do a live stream. I forgot. I was going to do two live streams next week to make up for the missed second half of the subscriber live stream. And the day of the Sims live stream, I was going to live react to their live stream. And then the next day, I was going to finish up the subscriber live stream. Well, <laughs> turns out both of those days, we have medical stuff that we have to do. So I may not even ever get around to reacting to the live stream at all. I'm just not sure what I'll be able to do and what I won't be able to do. I will have some speed builds, excuse me, or something else um, just kind of hanging out and waiting to be published in case I don't have the energy or will <laughs> to make a fresh video after all that or during all of that medical stuff. Um so something will be up next week. I just won't be able to do the live stream. So I'm definitely going to do the second half of the subscriber live stream the first week of February. Look forward to it then. I'm not going to put it off anymore. It will be the first week of February. No doubt about that. That little lamp right there. I love that lamp. It's adorable. Someone needs to tell me how to use it in a build, though, because I have been trying since I found it in the game to put it in a build, and I just have not found a good build to put it in yet. Someone needs to tell me how to use it. The only thing in this whole house that I do not like is the floor lamps I chose for this side of this room. I kind of regret it. I kind of wish I could go back and change it, but it's there now and it's what's staying. So um, feel free to change those. I won't be offended. I kind of regret that decision. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I am obnoxiously proud of this build. You have no idea how long it took me and how much effort I put into doing four apartments. But I mean, maybe you kind of do because I have to break it into four two videos. I was going to say four videos. No, two videos. I'm going to try to get it done in two videos. I haven't edited the rest yet, so it might be three videos. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, again, don't forget if you've made, you know what, if you've made it this far in the video, leave me a green or blue heart emoji. I see people doing this sometimes and I always want to do it, but I feel dumb, but I'm going to try it anyway. So if you're watching and listening, leave me a green or blue or both heart emoji. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this build so far. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.